Schedule Features, I'd like to show you all of the scheduling features that are available to you in our 3.6 software. Some may have been around for a little bit, but you may not have been aware of it. When you click on Schedule, and a patient is calling to schedule, cancel, reschedule, or confirm an appointment, you type in the patient's last name. It does a predictive text, so it finds the patient closest to what you're typing in. And it also displays when their next appointment is. So if they just want to know when their appointment is, that's all you have to do. You can also show the book for today or a specific day, print the next scheduled day, or show month at a glance. In this case, Monica wants to reschedule her appointment. It gives you the account information, all of the family members that might be due, account notes, what the balance is on the account, so you can quickly and easily access the account info before scheduling that patient's next appointment. Buttons that have been added are confirm, reschedule, or cancel the appointment. In this example, we're going to reschedule the appointment. It remembers the producer, the production type, the number of units. She wants to reschedule with Carla, but she also wants an appointment after 4 o'clock. Click on time and weekday to take all the times away, and click on the when the patient wants to come in. Click in the box to find the appointments. Simply click on the day and time that the patient wants and click to place the patient on the schedule. That's how simple rescheduling an appointment is. You can also cancel the appointment and it'll ask you do you want to remove it from the schedule. Puts it back into the recall list for you to access at another time. We're going to go ahead and click on today You can now display from one through eight columns. In the upper left hand corner, it displays your goal and what you are producing. It highlights it in yellow if you fall below the yellow line. And if anybody watches The Biggest Loser, you know how this might feel. It also breaks it down by column, producer. Click on next to get to the next day. If you want to see a specific producer's column, you can click on Katie. That will display the number of days across in, based on the number of columns you're displaying. In this case, we're displaying six columns. Katie works Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It shows you six days at a time. Simply click on Next to get to the next day. So management features have been added. Producer openings for the week. Shows you each producer and their first available opening. Click on the producer, and there's all the available openings for the week. You can click on tomorrow and look at what your schedule looks like. The next thing that has been added is production goals. This gives you every producer in the practice, whether they're a doctor or hygienist, what the goal is, what's scheduled how much is completed, and what percentage you're at. If you click on the producer, it gives you more detail. You can also page up to get older detail. Scheduled views have been designed so you can see just a schedule that just has the hygiene columns, or if you have multiple doctors that work with specific hygienists, 
you can have that doctor column displayed with a certain hygienist. This can also be set up by day, so if the doctor works a day with one hygienist and another day with a different hygienist, it will display just those particular columns. Let me show you through the demo user. In this demo user, we have a hygiene menu. In this demo user, we have a recall, recall coordinator menu. Because this user only works with the hygienist, we just want the recall coordinator schedule. So it shows you all of the hygienist and what openings they have for the week. User menus are also used for doctors, hygienists, or assistants. We have an insurance coordinator menu, so her menu only is insurance related items, outstanding insurance forms, employers and plans and such. And we let her punch in and out. The doctor menu has the schedule for today, appointments for today, appointments for tomorrow, and most importantly, the list patients needing chart notes. The list patients needing chart notes gives us a list of all the patients that we haven't completed the chart notes yet. We simply click on the patient. It gives us the recent visits and older visits as well and we want to complete the recent visit. So there's something in here with a procedure category that has a note template in here. We click on it. We click on Add Diagnosis Note, and it comes up with our template. For that particular procedure category. Only the items that are checked appear in the note. Simply click on Done, put Chart Away, and put the chart away. You can have one menu set up so it's always accessed through the demo user. And that's it.